line x y you can you will be able to see it in the presentation ok. Now, we will compare this figure to this I will draw this how we derived this figure let us draw this if you are viewing from it from this camera as you can see we will hold it a little bit higher we will hold this a little bit higher so this this is line x y hold it a bit higher higher ok. So, let us see how that figure came now this is line x y this is line x y as you can see now it this is what this is the distance h that it is below what below h p and the distance is h is equal to 30 mm ok. So, I will have my point here as you can see now if I am viewing it from the top here that it will only be a mark which will be there on x y line ok. So, now when I turn this clockwise this is what my figure looks like. So, this is my what no keep it here yeah this is what this is my uh, it is on v p. So, this is my front view and this is what this is my top view T v and now. So, this is x y this is h p and this is v p because it is in third quadrant h will be above and v p will be below. So, this is what this is my top view this is my front view and the same thing I have obtained in what I have obtained in my figure the top view and the front view ok. Next example we will have point is 20 mm above h p and 20 mm behind v p. Now, it is above h p. So, it can be either in first or second quadrant and it is 20 mm behind v p. So, what uh, if it it, uh, it is 20 behind v p. So, it will be there in the second quadrant. So, in the second quadrant how we will see is now, this is a very special case now uh, when you see the result you will be amazed ok. So, this is the second quadrant this is the second quadrant that we have. So, this is v p and this is h p ok. So, now what is happening is that this distance where which is uh, it is behind v p and I am looking it from here I am looking from here I am standing here. So, for me this is v p. So, it is for this ball is 20 mm behind v p for me as you can see I am the observer. So, this is 20 mm behind v p ok. So, this is 20 mm and the height which is there this height is again what it is again 20 mm. So, what will happen is I will draw uh, the projection. So, it has to be what it has to be 20 mm above here. So, this will be the line I am using the torch again as I used uh, I can show it once this is the torch that I uh, you can see that white spot on the object. So, this is the line that I am using ok and again when I do it from top. So, this is what this is my uh, ok. So, this is what I have drawn yeah this is what I have drawn ok. So, on h p on h p I have my top view oh it is wrong. I have my top view and on v p I have my front view and these both are at distance what these are both 20 mm Twenty mm. Now, what is going to happen that h p and v p both will be above x y. So, I have to fold this this way. So, if I if I am folding it this way then what will happen both the points will coincide why because both are 20 mm above this line. So, what will happen I will have a single point p t and v t both will be a single point above line x y ok ok. Let us move to the next final example that we have 20 mm in front of v p and a point is in h p again. So, now these guys will draw and explain to you that this guys will draw and explain to you that how this uh, particular thing has uh, this uh, solution of this problem will have this is the final problem that we are going to solve in this session ok. Point is in h p and 20 mm in front of v p that means that point lies on somewhat in first quadrant 
if you can see in front that means that it f in front view is on hp at somewhat distance d and the top view of the point gives the distance and the front view of the point is on hp we can see on the slide okay now you can turn the horizontal plane clockwise that means that the front view here and top view at some distance say that 20 mm so we can draw the projection of the points okay yeah so i hope you all uh, i hope you all understood uh, what we had in projection of point so what we'll do is we'll come back after an hour and we will have projections of lines and in projection of line we'll apply a similar method to show you that how different inclination uh, how different lines can be parallel to different planes and how can they be perpendicular to each other okay thanks and i'll thank my students also for giving a demonstration to you hardik janav and umangi is gone somewhere behind yeah there she is okay so uh, janav hardik and umangi and i thank them all for this thank you